Alright, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hope of the elect. I can push this truth throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity. As the scriptures say, the elect would be doing, man. First scripture I'm going to bring out, what I basically always try to open up with. the book of Jeremiah chapter 28 and verse 8 it said the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence so the prophets that have been before the prophets that you see in the highways and the byways today preaching the gospel you know which giving the testimony of Habashim Yahweh Shah. They are doing what the prophets did them before, man. They are doing what the prophets did before them. Which was the prophesy, man. That to come out here in the spirit of Habashim Yahweh Shah and tell you people, hey, what's about to go down, man? The war, World War Three is about to pop off, man. Evil, bad times, you got Jacob's trouble finna pop off. You know, Esau, Edom coming in with uh, like a flood, you know? You know? Because, you know, he got, a, uh, he, he, got, he got a short time, man. You know? You got pestilence happening. That's finna get ready to happen. Well, that's actually in the point where it's happening now. You got famine. You got death. The Lord, bring, the Lord brings forth his judgment to light every morning, man. So people dying all around the clock, all around the world, man. You know? Cause these are the, the hey, these are the words you have about Shmuel Shah that's, that's coming to fruition, man. You know? But yeah, so the prophets, hey, like the scriptures say, the spirits of the prophets are subjected to the prophets. And a prophet is going to do what a prophet does, man, which is to come out here and tell you, hey, what's going to go down before it happened, man? Why? Because, hey, it was given, it was given to the prophet to prophesy, man. You know? And, and the Lord, we come to prophesy to the world, but we're giving warning to the uh, to the children of Israel, man. Which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. Telling you hey, to repent because the Most High, and hey, he's about to get ready to send his son, man. He's about to get ready to send his son to bring, hey, to, to come bring great death and, to, to, and deliverance to his elect, man. You know? We are here to warn you and tell you that, hey, yo, yo, uh, who your enemy are and who you are, man. Who your enemies are and who you are, you know. This is, um, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab Ezekiel. Grab Ezekiel chapter 2. And it said, He said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the Spirit entered into me, when he spake unto me, and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee unto the children of Israel to a rebellious nation. You know, that have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day. So even unto this very day, the children of Israel, which consist of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and they transgress against the Heavenly Father, man. You know? So, so like I said, the, the Heavenly Father is sending out men in the, in the earth to, uh, to give warning of, uh, of death and, and the message of deliverance, man. And only, only the elect is going to hearken and, and be transformed and, and put off the old man, you know? Only the elect is gonna uh, uh, call upon the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shah, man. You know, Yahweh being the, the, the name of the uh, Heavenly Father, His true name, man. And Yahweh Shah being the name of His only begotten Son, which is not God nor Christ, man. You know? Mm. 
He said, for they are impudent children and stiff hearted. I do send you, thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, thus said the Lord power, man. So we are here to tell you, thus said the Lord, man, what the Lord is commanding of his, of his service, man. You know? It said, and thou son of man, be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words. Though briars and thorns be with thee, and though thou dost dwell among scorpions, be not afraid of their words, nor be dismayed of their looks. Thou, though they be a rebellious house. The Lord said, though they be a rebellious house, though they may have, uh, no, they may um, try to use strong words, you know, and, uh, and have the appearance of uh, goddamn thugs and demons and all. Hey, don't be dismayed at their looks, man. Don't be afraid of their words, man. Because the Lord said he made our, he made our head hard against their head, man. You know? See, cause we, we come rolling in the spirit of Yahweh and the Lord tell us to fear not, fear not him that is able to kill the body, but not able to uh, uh, uh kill the, both the soul and the body, man. You know? It said, and thou shalt speak my words unto them, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are most rebellious. So the Lord said, hey. We're going we're gonna to come in, in, in his stead, man. We're going to speak the words of Yahweh Shah, whether they will hear us or whether they forbear, you know, whether they don't want to listen or whether they do hearken, man. We're going we're gonna to come in, we're going to come preaching the gospel, man, you know. He said, But thou son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Be not thou rebellious as the rebellious house. So like it. Be not rebellious like that rebellious house. Open thy mouth and eat that, that I give thee. And when I looked, behold, a hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein. And he spread it before me, and it was written within and without, and there was written therein lamentations and mourning and woe because of all the death, the great death and the violence. Hey, that, hey, hey, that, that, that must come, man. You know, that happened before and they got to come again, man. You know, so the Lord said this place is going to be taken down with violence, man. You know, scripture say, hey, hey, when the Lord come, hey, they're going to be so afraid, but they're going to dare fight, man. You know, they're going to come with violence to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. To the Lord Yahweh Shai and his angels, man, when he come, man. You know, This is verse, uh, this is Ezekiel 3 and 1. It said, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of Roe, I mean, son, like it, son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he called me to eat that roll, which was, which was the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of this book, man, which was this Bible, man. It said, And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thou better to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, son of man, go get thee into the house of Israel and speak my words unto them. So we are, we are, the, we are commanded to come and speak the most high's words unto the Israelites, man. You know? Like I said, whether they were here or whether they forbear, you know? He said, it's, it, for thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and of a hard language, but thou art sent unto the house of Israel. Not too many people of a strange speech and of a hard language whose words thou cannot understand. Surely had I sent thee unto them, they would have hearkened. So the Lord said, if he had sent us into any other nation, they would have hearkened unto the uh, unto the words of the prophets, man, which were the, which actually are the words he have shown off shot, man. See, but the house of Israel were not hearkened unto thee, for they were not hearkened unto me. For all the house of Israel are impudent and hard hearted. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces. And their foreheads strong against their foreheads. So the Lord, hey, so the Lord is calling out to you, man. And hey, we won't back down because of uh, uh, we're gonna preach the gospel, man. Because you don't want us to preach the gospel, now nah, we're not gonna stop preaching the gospel, man. You know, Lord willing, we be those men and we endure to the end this thing, man. No, it just went down the wrong way, one way, man. We're not paying attention, but um, this is um, let me go to Isaiah right quick. I come right back to Isaiah.
This is the book of Isaiah 58 and 1. It said, cry aloud, spare not, and lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And that's what the men of the Lord are doing. We're crying aloud, man. We're crying aloud and we're, we're not sparing nobody's feelings, man. We lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins, man. So we are, we are commanded to come out here and tell the Israelites, hey, where you going off at, man? No, you cannot eat the damn pork, man. You cannot eat the uh, abomination. You cannot consume shrimp, man. You cannot consume lobster. You know, those damn seafood boys. You cannot eat that shit, man. You cannot commit adultery, man. You cannot lay with another man's woman, man. Women that have husbands, you cannot go and commit adultery on your husband, man. You cannot have another man. You cannot you cannot look lustfully upon another man, man. You are to be shamefaced, man. You know, this is what the Lord commanded of you. You know, you are to obey your husband in all in all things, man. You are, be, you are to be obedient. You know, you are to know your place. You know, you are to know that you are under the uh, under your man, man. You are to know that the man is your Lord, man. And that's and that was set up by the, by the uh, by the Most High Himself, man. You know, Genesis three sixteen. Genesis 3 16 and it said unto the woman he said I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception and sorrow thou shalt bring forth children and thou desire shall be to thy husband and he shall rule over thee so you are to be in uh in uh in subjection to your husband man the Lord said hey because hey because you hearken unto the, the serpent hey in sorrow you go you gonna uh, give uh, you can conceive man in sorrow and in pain that you're going you're going to uh, bear children you know and all of that hey the desire shall be to your husband man and your husband shall rule over you man you know just like we are the wife of your, uh, uh the woman of your shun you know and and and, and we know that, that he's our lord he's our head we are the head of you women man first corinthians uh chapter 11 give you the uh the order man the order of the house man you know, just bouncing around from book to book. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it, man. This is First Corinthians chapter eleven. First Corinthians chapter eleven and verse straight to the point. Wait, you know what? First, um, let's start at one. It said, "Be ye followers of me, even if I, even, uh, even as I also am of the anointed." Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances, which is the order, as I delivered them unto you. But I would have you know that the head of every man is the anointed, and the head of every woman is the man, and the head of the anointed is the Most High Yahweh. Say, so every man praying or prophesied, having his head covered, dishonored his head, which is Yahweh shot. It said, but every woman praying or prophesied with her head uncovered, that's under her head, which is her husband, for that is even all is one as if she was shaven. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be shorn. But if it be a shame that a woman to be shorn or shaven, let her be covered. No? It said, for, for a man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image and the glory of the Most High. But the woman is the glory of the man. You hear that, women? You are our glory, man. You are the glory of the man, like just like we are the glory of the Most High, man. You know? Say, 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 neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. For this cause ought the woman to have power on her own head because of the angels, man. You know, so that hey, there's your order, man. There's your order. You got the most high, the anointed, which is Yahweh Shah, you got the man, the woman, and the children, man. Go back to Ezekiel chapter um, Ezekiel chapter three and sixteen. It said, and it came to pass at the end of the seven days, the word of the Most High came unto me, saying, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. So we are here to give you warning from the Heavenly Father Himself, man. We are here to give you warning of what the Most High said He finna get ready to do, man. Most High is finna put it in Esau's mind and he, and he finna control Esau on the left hand side. Hey, to come down bringing wrath on you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. 
Jeremiah 30 and 7. Uh, 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 Daniel 12 and 1. A time like none other upon the face of the earth, man. You know, Jacob's trouble, man. Let me grab that, man. See, because the Lord, hey, the Lord is finna get ready to do a number on this place, man. And all this has to come to pass before the, the kingdom of heaven is ushered in. This is the book of, uh, Mike. All right, we're going to two. <clears throat> this is Jeremiah chapter, um, chapter 30. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7. Let's, let's start at 6. It is said, let's start at 5. Let's start at 4. It say, and these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus said the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. See, the Lord said he's not coming to bring peace on the earth, man. But he's coming to bring sword, man. The Lord is actually coming to bring destruction upon the earth, man. And at the same time, saving, delivering his elect out of these sad perils, man. Out of these troubles, man. Lord willing, we, we endure, you know. <clears throat> it said, and these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus said the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling. A, a fear and not a peace. It said, Ask ye now and see whether a man do travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces turn into paleness? At last, for that day is great. This is verse 7, and, to the, and it's the point. At last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Talking about the Lord's elect, man. But he's referring to that, uh, the, the, the election, man. That's that's going to be saved. The, those that are uh, have the have the spirit of the Lord on them, man. You know that the ones that the Lord are dealing with, man, are going to be saved out of out of uh, out of Jacob's trouble, man. You know we're going to have some waters, but hey, the Lord said it's a glorious thing for us to die in the Lord, man. You know, see the dead in the north is going to rise first anyway, man. You know. So they coming back into glory, man. The, those that die for this thing, man. For you, how about Shem Yahweh Shah? For, for, uh, for giving the word, how about Shem Yahweh Shah? You know? This is, um, <clears throat> going down to verse 8, said, For it should come to pass in that day, said the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck, and it will burst thy bonds, and strangers shall serve, shall no more serve themselves of him. But they shall serve the Lord their power and David their king, whom I will raise up unto them. You know? So we're going to actually serve the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, and King David, man, the kingdom of heaven, man. You know? That's right, man. So King David is coming back, man. This is verse 10. It said, Therefore, fear not, fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, said the Lord, neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar, and, and thy seed from the land of their captivity, man. And we're, 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 uh, we are in the land of our captivities, man. Everywhere that we were dispersed uh, in slave ships, that was the land of our captivity because our homeland, the mother, Jerusalem, which is the mother of us all, man. You know, we, we, we ran from Jerusalem. You know, but the Lord said He gonna, what well, we were slaves at, He He's gonna deliver us from those from those lands, man, from the lands of our captivity, and the Lord's gonna put us back in our own land. The Lord's gonna actually take us home, man. <clears throat> he said, and and Jacob shall return and shall be, so it's like it, and shall be in rest and be quiet. And none shall make him afraid, man. Cause we're going, we're going back into our power, man. You know? Saying, for thus said the Lord, it's like it. 
for I am with thee, said the Lord, to save thee. So, though I make a full end of all nations, whether I have scattered thee, yet will I not make a full end of thee, but I will correct thee in measure, and will not leave thee altogether unpunished. the book of um just gonna go into it then you <clears throat> get to the point to Daniel 12 and 1 is that and at that time what time the time of Jacob's trouble the time of all hell breaking loose on the face of the earth man you know and it said that and at that time shall michael stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time and at that time thy people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book written in the book so the lord said hey it's gonna be a time like none other man you know since there was a nation man gonna be a time like none other than on the face of the earth a time far greater than slavery man a time far worse than any any captivity that the uh children of israel have ever been in man you know and it's gonna be a time so bad that michael gonna have to stand up man and, and, and fight for our people man this is um it's gonna be a time so bad that the lord said hey let me see let me just grab it right quick, Daniel. This is the book of Matthew, chapter twenty-four. Matthew twenty-four and verse. And start at 20. And it says, but, but pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. It said, for, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And the precepts, Daniel, uh, Daniel 12 and 1, uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7. And it says, um, except those days be shortened, should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So, so it's gonna get so bad here that the Lord, hey, the Lord shortened the days because the time is we finna come in too. Hey, it, hey, it's gonna be a time so bad that if the Lord have not shortened the days, hey, there won't be no flesh left to save, man. You know, there'll be a great, uh, hey, if, hey, ever will nobody make it out of this place, man? This is um. That's why we are here to come out here to prophesy to you and tell you that hey, hey, repent, man, repent while you have a chance, man, because hey, the Lord is calling out, man. Y'all about some y'all shots calling, calling you to repentance, man, for you to cast off the old man, you know, and hey, and hey, and uh, hey, come into the folds, man. We are actually we are here to, to be you to the marriage, man, to the marriage of the Lamb, man. This is the book of um. Matthew chapter 22. <clears throat> Matthew chapter 22 and verse um, 22. Start at verse 22. Verse 9, it says, Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, be it to the marriage. 
So those ser servants went out into the highways and gathered together as many as they as they found both bad and good, and the wedding was furnished with guests. And the king came and came in to see the guests, and he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment, and he said unto them, and to him, friend, how comest thou in hither have not a wedding, not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then he said to the king and to his servants, Bid him hand and foot and take him away and cast him out into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, for many are called, but few are chosen. So the Lord said, hey, many are called, man, but few are chosen. See, the Lord is calling out, you know. Everybody going to hear the word, you know, because the Lord said the word is going to go into the four corners of the earth and then the end shall come, man. You know, everybody, everybody's going to hear the word and everybody's going to have a chance to repent, but not all are going to hearken and not all are going to repent, man. Not all, not all are going to return back into their God. Not all are going to seek the God of Israel, man. And, and the scriptures say about that, those who will not seek the God of Israel shall be should, should surely be put to death, whether great or small, whether, or rather uh, man or woman, man. You know? Book of Second Chronicles, <clears throat> Second Chronicles, Chapter. 15 and verse 13 it said that whosoever shall not seek the lord power power of israel shall be put to death whether great or small whether man or woman so the lord hey the lord he killed women too man he killed little children man the lord killed the old the young man how about some y'all shot hey he don't discriminate man you know how about some y'all shot won't you he gonna get you man you know, there, there's no hiding, there's no running, man. You know, those that are marked for death are marked for death, man. Those are marked for the sword to the sword, for the famine to the famine, man. You know? This is the book of Joel, chapter 2 and 27. It said, And ye should know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord, Yahweh, your God, man, your power, and none else. So the Most High is the only, the, he's only the God of these people on this side, man. The God of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Yashar Allah, man. It said, And none else, and my people should never be ashamed. So, hey, so, we got, we're not going to be ashamed in the Lord, man. No, but two thirds are gonna come back in shame, man. That's the thing about it, because when they had, um, what the Lord say, when they had uh, yet a place of repentance. Let me see. How they how they go on one of butchery.
How does that go where is that minimus even? We're worried another way. Right there, second answer is nine and eleven. And I'm, I'm gonna start at the top on second answer. It said, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, diligently in itself, and when thou hast seized part of the signs past which I have told thee before. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So all of this was already ordained and was already written, man. So we're just planning it out, man. Um... It said, for like as all that is made in the world hath the beginning and the end, and the end is manifest. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in the wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith. So works and faith go hand in hand, man. You know, because we just say faith without works is dead, man, right? It said, whereby he shall, whereby he believe, ye have believed, said, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them from me from the beginning. Then shall they be a pitiful case which now have abused my ways and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments, man. So those that uh that that uh, cast away the, the ways you have about your side despitefully, hey, you're gonna dwell in torments, man. You gonna you're gonna wanna call upon your power, man, but your power is not gonna hear you, man. Why? Because you don't believe your how you don't believe your how, man. You don't believe he is, man. You know? You don't believe the most high is, man. You you believe in what you wanna believe in, man. You believe you can say your day yourself, man. You know? See, my Hosea 4 and 6 say my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because my people, they reject knowledge, man. You know? Because since you reject knowledge, the Lord said he can reject you and your children, man. You know? And it said, um, <clears throat> for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, and when it yet as a place of repentance was open unto them, understood not but despised it, man. Not only do they despise the way of the Lord, they despise the, the prophets, man. Why? Because the prophets are coming. Hey, the prophets are coming with the message, man. The prophets are coming with the message, man. Tell you niggas, man. Hey, put put down your goddamn oh your, your wicked ass ways, man. Turn back to the Lord, man. You know? Don't you know the the, the, the uh don't you know that the Lord got angels watching you, man? They're going back and recording everything and, and taking it back to you. How about some y'all shot? You know? The Lord said his eyes are 10 times, 10,000 times brighter than the sun. You know? You know? It said, um, it said, the same must know it after death by pain. So you niggas that want to continue to be niggas, you don't want to repent. Hey, the Lord said you're going to know about after death by pain, man. You know? It said, And therefore thou shalt be slacking. And therefore, be not thou curious. Be thou not curious on how the ungodly shall be punished and where and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is, and who and for whom the world is created. 
Then I answered, answered I and said, I have said before, and now do speak, and will speak it also hereafter, that there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved. He said, like as a wave is greater than a drop. He said, and, and he answered me saying, like as the field is, so, so is also the seed, as the flowers be, be such are as colors also, such as the works, the workman is, such also is the work, and as the husband him, the husband man is himself, so is his husbandry also, for it was the time of the world. Second Ezra chapter fifth. Um, Second Ezra chapter. Second Ezra chapter eight and verse one. It says, "And he answered me, saying, The Most High have made this world for many, but the world to come for a few." Verse 3, it said, there be many created, but few shall be saved, man. So the Lord is only coming to save a remnant, and that remnant is going to consist of Israelites, man. And Israelite foreigners, man. Those that actually look like heathen, heathen nations, but they, they act their father. They go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob through the spirit, man, through their seed line, man. You know? And, it, and it's basically through the, through the seed line, man. But we, we also carry that spirit in Habashim Yahushat, man. Because the believers back then are also going to be, they, they're going to come back as believers, man. You know? Just like the spirit of the prophets is subjected to the prophets, the, the spirit of believers are, are subjected to believers, man. You know? And unbelievers to unbelievers, man. You know? And let me grab that. Revelation 22 and 12. <clears throat> Revelation chapter 22 and verse 11. It said, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still, man. You know? So, like I said, man, if you were holy, you are gonna come back holy, man. You are gonna come back and you are gonna fulfill the lot you was in, man, because we all reincarnate, man. You know? We was all here before. And the prophets, hey, all the prophets were here before, man. And they, and, and they was in the lot of prophets. Back in the days, same way they are in now, you know. It said, the red letter, and this is verse 12. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according to his work, according as his work shall be. I am I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life and enter. And enter and enter and may enter and through the gates into the city man you know so the lord said blessed are they that do his commandments man blessed are they that do the will of yahweh man the will of the most high you know what time looking like Revelation chapter 22 and verse 1 Psalms, Psalms 91 and verse 1 it said, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The secret place of the Most High is talking about this truth, man. You know? This truth actually but the, uh, having the protection of Yahweh Shem Yahweh man. You know? Having his angels watch over you, man. You know? And actually believing that, man. You know, because that's why our faith lies in, man. It said, <clears throat> and I will say of the Lord, Yahweh, 
He is my refuge and my fortress, my power in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence, man. So the Lord is going to deliver us from the devil, from these traps that this devil is going to try to uh, entrap us with, man. And the Lord is also going to deliver us from them damn them thermonuclear missiles that, that they're going to be shot off in the ends of the earth, man, in the ends of the world. You know? See, because that's how this place is going out, man. This place is going out through thermal, thermal, uh, thermal heat, man. Thermonuclear heat. You know? And who should be able to buy it, man? <clears throat> so he shall cover thee with his feathers. This is verse 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler, man. So this truth is our protection, man. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day, because hey, we already know it's, it's Bible prophecy. Nor for any pestilence that walk within darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. And it continually it, it keep talking about the destruction, the arrows, the missiles, you know? Hey, hey, the Lord is about to, hey man, the Lord about to flood this place with, uh, with, with nuclear missiles, man. The Lord, the Lord is about to flood this place with thermo, the thermonuclear heat, man. The thermonuclear fire, man. You know, this place becoming the lake of fire, man. The lake of fire, man. The Lord is about to flood Babylon the Great, man. You know? So we got to come up out of her spiritually. Hoping that the Lord is going to bring up, call us up out of her uh, physically, man. You know? You know, and not leave us here and, and, and melt us in this place, man. Hey, because, hey, man, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. You know? They say through the terror of the Lord will persuade men, man. You know? What makes a man a man? My boy makes a man a man is he don't fear in your how about some y'all was shot, man. He don't doing the will of your how about some y'all was shot, man. You know? Now that's a real man, man. This is verse 7 it says, A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and will see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his. his Salakis, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder and the young lion, and the dragon shall thou trample on the feet, because he hath set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him, and I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. Man. And we confess the name of Yahweh Shem Yahushai in all the uh, and, in all of the earth, man. By us confessing the name of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, Yahweh said he will confess us before his father, which is in heaven, man. You know? And that's what we look forward to, brothers, and, and that will, that's what we hope for, man. You know? That's what we pray for, man. You know? <clears throat> He shall call upon me, and I will answer him, and I will be with him in trouble, and I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. And that's what we fight for, brothers. We fight for that long life and that salvation, man. We fight for eternal life, man. You know, we fight for immortality, man. You know? That's what we fight for, brothers. And we got to continue to fight, man. We got to fight to the end, man. We got to fight until we on the chariot, man. You know? So with all that being said, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hope of that. Quam Yasharala and the Bible Ball. Shalom.